Today I'm aboard the Specialized Stump Jumper Evo 29er Pro model. It's a very aggressively oriented trail bike with 150 millimeters to travel up front and 140 in the rear. This model is the carbon frame, comes with a DHX2 coil shock in the rear. It looks incredible. It's probably one of my favorite looking bikes that I've tested. And it definitely has some aggressive geometry numbers. The rear end is very long for a specialized trail bike at 443 millimeters. And the head tube angle is a properly steep 63 and a half. And with those figures in mind, it climbs amazing. I mean, those all are all kind of like downhill oriented geometry choices. But I find that that long rear end really just kind of adds stability to super technical climbs, keeps your front end kind of pushed down when you're climbing too. You rarely get that lift off feeling when you're on the edge of a steep portion of trail. This Evo has a pretty steep C-tube angle, which I think lends itself to climbing. It's a little over a 75 degree on this S3 model. And when I was setting up a bike, I really found for me, it came with way too long of a stem. So I put a shorty 40 millimeter on. I just got back from a trip to Sedona with this bike and on that super choppy technical rock, it was just so confidence inspiring. And I think that long end paired with that steep C-tube angle just helped out a lot. This bike would be one of my first choices for a long day out in the mountains where I needed something that was efficient feeling. And obviously it's very capable for the size of bike. The spec on this bike is great. It's just got a lot of high performing components. The uh, Fox 36 just feels super dialed. The oiled, you know, the damping circuits just feel very high end, super adjustable, high speed, low speed compression and rebound, which is pretty cool. As far as the rest of the components that the bike came with, I think for me, the ultimate highlight is the brakes. The Code RSCs were just such a good choice, and I cannot believe how much power they have, especially just compared to the Code Rs. The butcher tires have been pretty good. To me, the sidewalls feel a little wishy-washy, so you kind of need to fill them up with air. One of the bigger drawbacks of this build is the uh, Roval wheels. They've been very nice, they're nice looking, seem well constructed, but for some reason, the spokes are just constantly coming loose for me. Time to point it downhill. What a, what a playful bike. Even with that long rear end, just kind of, it's light on its toes, easy to pick up. I don't know if it's the pretty long rear end of the bike, but it's very playful and poppy, but there is kind of a, a cumbersome feeling on some corners where it feels like it's just kind of a lot of, a lot of bike. Uh, just the supple suspension and the 29 inch wheels. It's a pretty <laughs> racy feeling bike that just loves to kind of hold its speed. This is a particularly kind of rooty bumpy course and this bike really couldn't feel much more at home on it. For some reason though, compared to the regular stump jumpers, it feels a little bit harder to get a super good corner out of it. God, it just clambers up this steep stuff. 
It's also a bike that just feels particularly good to pedal when you're out of the saddle. Just feels like there's maybe the right amount of room on the top tube. It's just like, what a perfect bike for both a steep, but it's also just really good on kind of pedally, technical, single track. My final thoughts on this bike, I just think Specialized really hit it out of the park with this one. It's a great bike for someone who, someone who just wants to do it all. They love trail riding. They just love mountain biking. They kind of want a one bike quiver. You could bring this bike to a bike park if you really needed to, but yet you could pedal it around in the backcountry all day without feeling like it was too much bike. What's funny to me is just how heavily this bike, the Evo version, is marketed for going downhill. And yet, when I'm riding it, it's like, man, this thing really helps me out going up the hill. It's just kind of funny. If you like this review, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. What a fun bike. I just kind of want to do this all day.